round one of Global Rallycross in Barbados, and Sfera Isaksen is locked in a heated battle for the podium. Lap after lap, door-to-door -door racing. But inevitably, something has to give. And that's where it would end. A crushing blow to a possible podium spot. But it's just the beginning of a long season of racing. Tough day of the racing. And with little time for repairs. It's not going to be easy. The nose is up. The engine's probably junk. The crew is under the gun, getting everything fixed before X Games Austin. This is launch control. It's gonna be a busy two and a half days in Texas. <laughs> yeah. In Austin, Texas, the Rallycross cars have completed their journey back to the mainland from Barbados. Major repairs are required. Make sure, you know, obviously we that it sits flush on this edge. What I was gonna do is take the grinder and just stuff it really quick just to get it flush. The front end of Sparrow's car has been punched upwards by the impact of the landing. This intercooler and these frame rails, the whole front of this car needs to go that way. The team burns the midnight oil with just hours before X Games practice starts. 2,200 miles north of Barbados, in the town of Wellsboro, Pennsylvania, Subaru Rally Team USA is preparing for two long days of competition the fourth round of the Rally America Championship. Good afternoon. Welcome to STPR. The team is well aware of the attrition in Barbados and is hoping to avoid adding to the team's workload. The last two years, Higgins and Drew have struggled here. Last year, a broken control arm sent their championship stranglehold into a tailspin. They're hoping for a different result this year. We can have a different day, but we've got to still go out there and go hard because these cars don't work very well at all when you're not driving them flat out. A slew of Subarus line the main streets of Wellsboro for the start of the Susquehannock Trail Rally. Subarus of all models and budgets compete for outright victories, class podiums, or simply for fun at every event. My idea of vacation is coming to a rally event, so five months ago I scheduled that I'm going to make SDPR. And we've got the big boss hot on our heels that he was going to be looking out for us, and you know he's been telling me all week that he's going to beat us. I think David should be adjusting his mirrors to see who's coming up behind him. But it's great to see all the privateers as well that come out and you know building their cars, and they associate Subaru with rallying, so that makes it really important. While Higgins and Drew battle for the overall victory against Adam Yeoman, a second battle rages in the super production class. Dylan Van Way in his Vermont sports car prepared STI is a favorite to win the class, as is Nick Roberts, who returns to rallying only 24 days after a fire destroyed his car at the Oregon Trail Rally. The car just explode into flames while we were going flat out on stage, leaving us with three weeks to get the car ready for SCPR. They're a small privateer team. They've done something that many factory teams wouldn't even be able to do. Everybody went the extra mile, which is which really what the whole rally community is about. David Higgins and Craig Drew lead the way on the stages. They're first on the road and fastest so far. There's no drama as they pass the corner where they broke a year ago. From here on out, they focus on finding speed and consistency to the finish. Behind them, the super production battle begins. With evenly matched cars and close competition, the driver and co-driver's skills can shine. For every rally driver on the road this weekend, there is a battle to be found. Overcoming the elements, competition amongst friends, and a sense of accomplishment is why they are here. I know I'm down on power, down on budget, but I just try to drive as fast as I can. 
That is the true essence of the sport and the reason the sport exists. Super loves the sport and the sport loves Super, so it's definitely a good relationship. The 63 car field is putting on a show. It's a picture perfect weekend for Subaru Rally Team USA. And Higgins finds a moment to put on a show for the fans. David Higgins and Craig Drew record their third victory in four events. They stand proudly next to Nick Roberts and Rhiannon Gelsomino, who bring their brand new car to third overall, completing an amazing comeback from the ashes of Oregon. Proof that victories come in all shapes and sizes. A few days later, back in Austin, it's the quiet before the storm. Repairs are complete, and the team is ready for the chaotic challenge that is X Games. But at X, it's never just a race. It's a scene, and everybody finds a moment to soak up the atmosphere. Team owner Lance Smith puts $100 on the line for the fastest team mechanics in the nearby NASCAR Pit Stop Challenge. It's the first race of many to come this weekend. Come race day, it's back to business. Subaru is sporting a three-car team, joined by Travis Pastrana, who was a staple at the X Games. Early lap times show the Subarus to be more than competitive. Pastrana and Asakson each win heat races. The team is setting top five lap times and getting fast launches. You notice the 11X, it's really squatting up here as opposed to the 13X, it yeah, yeah. doesn't squat quite as much. As the early strength of the cars is a relief to the team who worked so hard to get them back into shape. How'd the you get on? Good. Really yeah. good. Is he going out again or not? No, no. It was only a 40 minute session total. Sight, everything looked good, car's good. It's so, on. Yep. Let the racing begin. Sometimes you don't pick your rivals, they pick you. Sfera's number 11 Subaru is the first to take the line at the quarterfinals against his newfound rival, Nelson Piquet Jr. Piquet has hampered Sfera's results in the last two events. GRC Las Vegas at the end of 2013. And more recently in Barbados. Sfera nails the whole shot off the start, getting clear of the pack and hopefully out of harm's way. Oh, they pushed him around. PK Jr. again. Again. He turns right there. PK's move goes unpenalized, but Sferis' car is too damaged to continue the heat. I don't play me in these things! Now I stop! Once back at service, the team scrambles to rebuild the car in hopes that their protests will be successful. There you go. Yep. That is hopeless, you know? We tried to make a good race. Of a start. Clean line. I was braking, I go to the left, and there was a he course. He too far on the inside, I saw him. He can't, he had to go out, he had to go in the final. That's it. But it's all for naught. Sfera is furious. Other people break, but we cannot break. He used me like a brake pad, so I don't understand why. I'm really, really disappointed. Really disappointed. 
Travis Pastrana and Bucky Lasik start their respective quarterfinal races. Both opt to hold back in the first corner. Lasik will avoid a massive crash and fight off dust. Pastrana battles hard and will advance with a strategic joker lap. Both advance to the semifinal race and must face each other for a transfer spot in the final. Bucky's clean driving finds him in third. Travis fights his way back up to fourth. The team watches anxiously as the teammates battle. It really sucks when one of your guys is on the bubble. Bucky's clean lines hold out. He moves on to the final. Travis does not. So close, bud. so close. Bucky realizes the significance of this moment. He's a 19-time X Games medalist, but always on a skateboard. He remembers the struggles of the last two years, where he's been criticized for being a skateboarder and not a driver. Ultimately, his fate and the fate of his team lies entirely on his shoulders. As he rolls to the line, Bucky's radio crackles with news that his clutch isn't working. I apologize now for this gearbox. I got to rev it up to about 6,000 RPM to dump it and hope it gets going. His start is painful, but he's moving and in the race. Durant, hold it tight light, hold it tight light. Durant, two cars behind us. Now we push, now we push. Duran is two car lengths behind us. Good man, good man. Stay tight on the left, stay tight on the left. Fulfill all this hard work. Come on, ball. Yeah! Lasek throws down clean, consistent race laps to reel in the leaders. Duran on your inside, coming off the joker. He's locked in a battle for bronze with former X Games gold medalist Liam Doran. Come on, Bucky! Bucky gets ahead of Doran after completing the Joker lap and now has to hold off the former champion. Okay, we're all in a straight fight now. We're all in a straight fight. Duran is three car lengths behind. Come on, Bucky! Come on, Bucky! Come on! Yeah! 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 But Bucky has his sights set on second place and begins catching PK Jr. ahead of him. Bucky applies pressure, and PK makes a huge mistake, taking the shortcut Joker lap a second time, earning him a black flag penalty. PK's taking the Joker twice, the left focus now. Keep pushing, keep pushing. PK took the joker twice. PK will have a stop go penalty. Three laps to go, let's push, let's push. I can't watch, hold me Dan, hold me. <laughs> Bucky darts past into the silver medal spot. Now, it's just a matter of defending his position with just a few laps to go. Hey, push, big push, Duran right behind us, big push now, big push. Defensive lights now, Duran is right behind us, last lap, defensive lights, let's push. Bucky does it. He crosses the finish line with the first podium of his GRC career, his 20th X Games medal, and his hard work realized. A team that once struggled to be competitive. That was good, huh? Has its third podium in six events and has turned the corner toward victories. 
Subaru's best ever finish comes at a time when their driver needed it most. For Bucky, it's a feeling that seemingly took forever to arrive. The only way to extend it is to repeat it. With a long season still ahead of them, there's no reason to expect anything less. So the scissors are going down today. Bucky's podium finished with silver at X Games. He's getting his hair cut today after a long, grueling season of not having a podium. All right, Tony. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> making me a mullet. Oh, so beautiful. Oh. So long. Jen, are you serious? Oh. 